Hi all, uh, good morning or good evening. So as last week, Microsoft Dynamics uh, NAV 2017 was released. So we'll be discussing what's new in the product uh, into bits and pieces. So this is the first part of the video where we'll discuss what are at item attributes, what has been changed in terms of item categories, and what is, uh, what's the change there in master templates with respect to NAV 2017. So let's pop up the NAV2017 client and let's see the item attributes first. So let's see how uh, we can create first a new attribute. So you can search for item attributes. It'll take you uh, to the exact place where we can create and we'll see what are the options that we have. So let's create a new one. So, okay, you select new. From there, you give the attribute a name. So, let's say there's no attribute as length. So, let's say length. What type of value you want for this attribute? So, you can select option, integer, decimal. So, uh, as it's a length, I'll select uh, decimal. If you want to specify unit of major, you can do it here. Only if you select it as option, then you can select the option uh, that you want for that particular value from which user can choose. Otherwise, uh, for others, as in, in this case, the field will be disabled. If you are working on a country uh, or in a database which have uh, which support multiple um, uh, languages then you can use translations for this and based on the country uh, code you can specify what the name will be there for that item attributes okay so I need this you can uh, block and unblock it whenever you need it and my attribute is created there are some which are there in the standard like this one is option decimal and all right so let's go to the item and see where we can assign them so if I navigate to the items, it'll take some time. My system is a bit slow. So it'll pop up the item list from where I can assign. I can even filter my item list based on it. So let's see. This, these are my items on, on the Cronus Canada company, the demo company. So if you open the item card, you can assign the item attributes that you want for that particular item. So, as in bicycle will not have a length, but just for the demo, I, I can uh, go to the attributes from the home ribbon under items. There's the attribute section. So, as soon as the page is loaded, we can select that and we can specify as many attributes as you want for a particular item. Okay, so uh, once it's loaded, we'll assign it. It's a bit slow. My system is a bit slow. Okay. So it's there. Uh, you can click on that. It'll pop up a screen where you can specify uh, where you can select the attribute and specify the value against that attribute. Like you have colors and all. So in the same way, let's assign some multiple attributes to this. Let's say I'm saying that my bicycle is of color red. Okay. And uh, if you want more, you can assign them as you go. Right. So let's say model here makes sense. And are there any values? No, because that's a, that's a uh, field, right? When in, I need to input. Once you assign them, you can see it here on the item card, as well as when you go to the list, and as soon as the list get refresh, you should be able to see see them into the item list also. So this is the only thing that you can do with item attributes. You can see them here and you can assign them multiple to the items. At the same time, you can filter it out. Let's say I want all the, mm, and on the standard, there are 90, 000, 1900 series. You have some items with attributes. So let's check. Okay, so I have color black on this item. I have, uh, 
some other colors okay two uh, two items with color black so if you want you you can filter your item by attributes using this which is filter by attribute so if you want to filter your item list based on let's say color as black so you can select the attribute from the list and then using the this assist edit you can select what you want as in what operator you want equal to not equal to and greater if it is a if it is a mm, not an option field so I'm right now looking for an option field we'll show you that the other option so you select the color that you want and let's say just for your uh, demo mm, I'll say I'll select this and then it'll pop up a se second window where you can select the basic condition that it is equal to is it fall within a range is it less than or greater than and based on that you can specify your filters right so as many filters for the attributes you can assign assign and once you click OK your item list will be filtered based on whatever the item attributes filter you assign so these items are filtered if you want to remove it you can remove it from the same uh, action ribbon clear attribute filters so it'll bring you back the whole item list so that's all in terms of item attributes uh, there's nothing much on it uh, that is what you can do right now now let's go to the next point which is item categories before going there let's see uh, what was there in 2016 so this is my 2016 database and if I go to item categories the item categories used to look like this a simple list where you have categories assigned and for each category you can have multiple product groups so for this furniture category you'll have some uh, product groups which are defined at the same time you have some default values that will be assigned to the item when you select this item category so that was there in 2016 now let's see how it changed into 2017 so if I select item categories in 2017 I see a uh, parent child relationship like you see in the chart of account page that these are your uh, item categories and actually the product group which we saw a while ago are now a part of item categories but they are connected as a parent child relationship so all these three were earlier were called as product groups but now they are item categories and which are linked as parent child in the same way they can be you can indent and you can add more now if you notice one thing you can assign attributes uh, to the item categories and if the if you select a item category on an item so the attribute will also get copied to your item and any attribute which you assign to the parent item category will go to the child item category but child can have further more item categories if you want uh, you can edit the item category and then you can specify the, the attributes so let's uh, assume that uh, my furniture item uh, category which is my parent uh, is using the three attributes but my ch chair attribute uh, or sorry chair uh, category require one more attribute so I can assign it to it so for others it will be blank but uh, uh, for this particular it will have a value uh, testing description okay and I clicked OK so now that's assigned to only this particular so that is not assigned to any other child and that is only assigned to this so but if I assign it here it comes down to the ch all the childs so that's all in terms of item categories but if you remember in 2016 we saw that there were some default values so where are they now are they lost or can't we have them into the system somewhere yes we can and that uh, bring us to the third point which is our master template so uh, it was there in 2016 also but it was uh, kind of uh, now on your front screen so let's say if I'm sitting on uh, I'm on an item card and if planning to create a new item so what you'll do is you'll click new and uh, then we'll assign numbers and all those things right but now in 2017 if you click on this to create a new item 
it actually pops up a window where you need to select a template for the item that you want to create and there are some templates which are there from Microsoft in the standard product and they were there in 2016 if you know it and you can edit any of the templates and you can uh, uh, modify the templates as you want right so this template actually contain those fields which you are looking into 2016 setup and item categories so all those uh, mandatory parameter can be specified here at the template uh, you can create more templates if you want uh, based on your customer requirement or uh, you can have them based on the industry specific needs that you want and this feature is available for customers vendors and items at the same time uh, if you go back and if you don't select an item category it works as it used to be uh, till 2016 it opens a blank item card and you can assign the values uh, so how I can uh, modify or how I can add a uh, master template to my uh, let's say item master or customer master so you can navigate to uh, templates when you search for the templates you'll see so many templates select setup customer vendor item uh, template so when you click on this you will be navigated to a page where you see all the templates these three are for customer these are for items and these are for vendors so when you go and edit it you can actually uh, edit the values and that you can do over there also right but if you want to uh, see it on the other way there's one more thing which is called a setup master template if you click on this you see a, uh, the same kind of setup if I if you want to modify the existing one you can do that if you click on edit uh, let's say this one is for the customer and you can so these are the uh, fields which will be assigned to it so you can add new fields like I did like this so but there's a small catch when you uh, add a field you don't need to actually in the standard the value is coming here but if I if you want to add a custom field you actually need to select the field name so when you select the field name it shows you the uh, field list from that table and you can assign the values like let's say the currency code will be there so let's say language code but it's already there okay so okay so let's say this is the field right I already added and you can change it to the value default value but if you want it to be available on the page where user selects a category then you need to modify page but if you just want to assign a default value that you can do it from here and that will be assigned whenever a customer select this template which is cus 001 right so let's go to the customer and see uh, does my default value comes uh, when I create a customer using this template so as soon as it's loaded okay it's here so let's create new and once you create new a pop-up window will come to select one of the template which is there once you select it any values which are assigned to that template will be applied to your customer so let's click OK and see what happens okay so it created a new customer with customer number C0040 uh, the name which I assigned as a default value on my template is already specified to this and other values will be assigned as as we go so this feature uh, of master template can be used uh, as a partner you can have your master template created based on the industry specific needs uh, that your customer can be used and for the customer they can have their templates based on what type of customers and item they commonly drive their business and based on that they can uh, get their uh, create their templates and uh, you know use them while creating items customers and vendors at the same time uh, on the template you can also assign the default dimension that you want to be assigned to the uh, master record wherever that is created from that template so with this there are there will be few errors when you are creating masters and uh, we'll have a good life with that right so that's all for today 
uh, we'll, uh, I'll be coming back with the second part where we'll be discussing some new features which are introduced in the product. Let me know your views on the comment. If you want something uh, where we need to deep dive into a particular topic, let me know. I'll make sure that we cover it into the future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.